Hello everyone. So in this video, we will learn how to send emails for newly created Airtable records. So just imagine this. I just created a Airtable record. It has the name, the email, the address, the age, all those fields. So whenever a new record is added, I just want to send a warm welcoming email to that person. Now this is just a simple use case. You may have many other reasons to do that. But the problem is uh, there is no direct data flow between Airtable and Gmail. So in cases like these, we have to bring a third app to properly connect them both. So in this video, we will be using Fabric Connect to integrate Airtable and Gmail. So what Fabric Connect will do is, anytime a new record is created in Airtable, it will automatically send an email via Gmail. Now this little integration can be done in few easy steps. And the best part of using Fabric Connect is, there is no need for coding skills or programming language. It can be done easily. Let me show you on my screen. Okay, so to begin the process, first type pabli.com in your browser. pabli.com, press enter. Okay, so this is the website of pabli.com. Here hover on products and at the bottom you will find the option called as connect. Click on connect and then just click on sign in. Okay, so this is the dashboard of pabli connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in pabli connect. You can also create your own free account in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing that Public Connect offers a plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. So you just have to clone the template of its workflow, which is available in the description box. Once you clone the template, you will get immediate access to this amazing workflow in your account. Okay, so scroll down and at the bottom you will find connect. Just click on access now. Okay, so at the top right corner, you will find a button create workflow. Click this. A dialog box appears in front of you. It is asking you to give a name to this workflow. I am going to give it as Airtable to Gmail. Airtable to Gmail. And then just click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, a window appears in front of you. This is called as the trigger window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Airtable because we want to send the data from Airtable. That is why. Now in the trigger event, how about we make it as new record? Okay, so new record is a trigger event. So your obvious question is, what is a trigger event? Trigger is basically a if statement. It asks a question, if the condition is met, what should be done? For example, if a new record is created, then what action should be taken by the system? At present, there is only one trigger event, that is new record. Now in case if you want more triggers of your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate for the specific trigger that you want to build. But at present, I just want to connect with Airtable and create a new record and send the data when a new record is created in Airtable. Okay, so to click on to connect with Airtable, all you have to do is just click on this button connect with Airtable. Okay, so in the new credentials, we have to fill in the token. So to get the token, let's have a visit to Airtable. So this is my Airtable account. First of all, let's have a visit to profile. Click on profile. Here you will find the option called as account. Click this. Okay, so here in the API section, you will find the API key. Simply copy this and just paste it here. Okay, so we have entered the API key. Just click on save. Okay, so when you click on save, you will find two blanks, that is base and select table. Now, usually what happens is all you have to do is uh, copy the uh, specific webhook URL that is provided by Pabli Connect and paste it into the triggering software. But in this case, we just have to select the base that we want to integrate with. And after integrating with the base, we have to select the particular table. So in this case, actually, uh, we have a ton of uh, bases, for example, project tracker, event planning, product launch, project tracker, Power, Base Poll, Shopify Data, Yellow Records from YouTube and so on. So these are all the bases I have in my Airtable account. And when I go to Public Connect and when I expand this list, you will find all these uh, bases in my Public Connect drop down list. Okay, so basically this is because we have successfully integrated Airtable to Public Connect. Okay, so we have to select one particular uh, uh, base. So in my Airtable account, I have a particular base that is called uh, Physics Lecture 101. So I'm selecting this. Okay, so as you can see, this is the table that I am interested in integrating with Public Connect. So the name of the uh, base is uh, Physics Table, uh, Physics Lecture 101. And let me go to Public Connect. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go to base and select this particular uh, base that is Physics Lecture 101. 
Okay, so when I selected physics lecture 101, you will find there is only one table, that is table 1. This is because there is only one table, table 1. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is when I just click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of the recently created record in this particular A table. So this is the data of the recently created record. So this is the name of the person, Aaron Manuel, and uh, this is the email address, aaronmanuel1991 at the rate gmail.com. The event is physics lecture and the duration is 30, the start date and this is the end date. Excellent. So basically the idea is that whenever a new person or a new person's record is added in this particular uh, uh, table, Public Connect will make sure that Gmail sends an email to this particular email address. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is when I just click on save and send test request, it will uh, uh, fetch the data of this particular details of this recently created uh, record. Okay. So let me show you. Let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so as you can see, the API response is showing all the data that is present here. Okay, so we have the name that is Aaron Manuel. So the API response is showing the name as Aaron Manuel. And the start date is this. Okay, so this is the start date. And then we have the end date. Okay, and then we have the email. This is the email and it has captured it. Aaron Manuel 1991 at the rate gmail.com. And then this is the duration that is for 30 minutes. This is the event physics lecture. Okay, so basically we have got all the data. So what we are going to do here is we are going to sync all this data to Gmail so that it can send an email to this particular address. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to click on this plus button. Okay, so when you click on this plus button, another window opens up. This is called as the action window. So in the choose app, how about we make it as Gmail? Okay, Gmail, this one. Okay, so now in the action event, we just want to send an email. So let's make it as send an email. Okay, now send an email is an action event. There are many more action events like add label to an email, send email with plain text and so on. Now, just like the triggers, if you don't find the action events according to your choice, you can make a request to our team at admin at the rate pabri.com to custom build an action event for you. But at present, I just want to send an email via Gmail. Okay, so just click on connect with Gmail. In the new credentials, just again click on connect with Gmail. Okay, so as you can see, these are the series of uh, Gmail accounts I have. And I want to send the data from this particular email address, Michael Karras. So I'm selecting this uh, Gmail account. Okay. Okay, so now it is asking me to confirm my choice. Now, before you press uh, allow, let me tell you something. Pabli Connect doesn't take any chances with your data. Your data is 100% safe and secure with us. Okay, so on the basis of that trust, just press allow. Okay, excellent. So it is showing the authorization is successful. Just press OK. Okay, so when you click on OK, a set of blanks has appeared in front of you. The purpose of uh, these blanks is very simple. We are going to uh, uh, compose a message from the data that we have received from Airtable via Public Connect. And then we are going to send an email from Gmail. Okay, so in the recipient name, all we have to do is uh, just click on this button and we will get all the data that we have received here. Okay, so these are all the data that we have got from uh, Airtable via Public Connect. So basically all the dat that data can be found here. Okay, so in the recipient name, we are just going to click here and this name will be mapped. That is Aaron Manuel. Okay, so now coming to the part called as recipient email, just uh, click this and just scroll down and you will find the recipient email. This is the recipient email. Now coming to this part called as from name. So in from name, my name is uh, Michael. So I'm just typing in my name, Michael. Okay, and from email, this is my email address. Michael Karas 481 at the rate gmail.com. Okay, so this is the email from email and from the uh, in the email subject. So what we are going to do here is we are just going to map in the name of the subject. Now the name of the subject is uh, uh, will be our event that is physics lecture. Okay, so we are just going to map this physics lecture. Now in the email message, uh, we are just going to type something like thank you for confirmation or thank you for booking booking and this is the event that is physics lecture thank you for booking physics lecture it will start at and this is the start date and end it and this is the 
end date okay so this is the email message thank you for booking uh, physics lecture it will start at uh, start date this and uh, end at this end date okay excellent so what i'm going to do here is when i just click on save and send test request it will send uh, this particular email message to this guy okay aaron manuel 1991 at the rate gmail.com so let me show you let me just click on save and send test request Okay, so the API response is showing the data has been sent. So let's have a look into our uh, Gmail account. Okay, so the guy is a uh, uh, person called as Aaron Manuel 1991. Okay, okay, yes, we do have the email physics lecture, and this is from me, Michael. Thank you for booking physics lecture. It will start at uh, this time, uh, Friday, and it will end at this time. Excellent. So the presence of uh, this email shows that we have successfully integrated Gmail and Airtable with help of Public Connect. So how about we double check if our integration is working fine or not. But before we do that, let me go to uh, uh, public connect and let me explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to minimize my action window and I'm going to minimize my trigger window. Okay, so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell. First you integrated Airtable to public connect and then you have integrated public connect to Gmail. So now there is a perfect flow of data between Airtable and Gmail. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a uh, one more record so the name of the person is Aliji okay and this is the email address seven at the rate gmail.com okay and the event is of course again physics lecture okay and uh, the duration is 30 and the start date is uh, from 12 30 am friday no how about saturday okay uh february and the end date is uh, 1 pm friday february okay Okay, so a new record has been created. So there is a person called as Liji and uh, this is the email address of uh, this person. And uh, the event she is going to attend is physics lecture and this is the duration, uh, 30 minutes. And this is the start date and the end date. So let's have a look into this uh, email address. Do we have uh, the data concerning these uh, all? Okay, so let's have a look. So I'm just uh, looking into this person's uh, email address. Okay, so as you can see, we do have the email from Michael, that is me. Okay, thank you for booking physics lecture. It will start at 12.30 a.m. Saturday, February, and then at 1 p.m. Friday is February. Excellent. So our integration is working absolutely fine. This means anytime a new uh, record is added in Airtable, it will be reflected as a mail via Gmail. Not just these two apps, you can integrate up plenty of applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com. Our dedicated team members will help you to automate your workflows. Or better, just visit our website www.pabli.com. It's awesome. Thanks.